Ciao. I'm Robin, your Sudoku guy, ready to give you yet another technique for solving difficult problems. This particular lesson is to show you an, ed, ed, an advanced level of the TMB or the LCR. Let me revise. TMB refers to the horizontal blocks. We have a top row, a middle row, and a bottom row. LCR re refers to the vertical blocks, a uh, left, a center, and a right column. So, let me first of all point out that up to now, we've been looking at one number, top, bottom, and middle. We now start to realize that we can look at two numbers and even three numbers. For example, if you have a 458 here and a 458 here, you know, based on the TMB principle, that the 4, 5, and 8 have to be up here in this block. Middle, bottom, top. Or if it's up here and there, then you know it has to be there. So you've got these to bear in mind. It could be a 4, 5, a 4, 5, a 4, 5, or it could be a 5, 8, a 5, 8, and a 5, 8. Uh, or it could be a 4-8 and then a 4-8 or a 4-8. It could be a 4-5-8, a 5-4-8, an 8-4-5. As long as those three numbers are there and there, you know you have to have those three numbers there. That is essential. And we now look at this. Let's look at this one here. I'm just going to erase these. Uh, forget these numbers and you'll see the LCR system working as well. If this is a 458, then, and over here you have a 458, you know you must have a 4, 5, and 8 in here. Now, it doesn't have to be in that order. It can be 8, 4, 5, or it can be 4, 5, 8, or it can be 5, 4, 8. All those combinations can be in here as long as they are on the right. So we have a center, a left, and a right. And that is a fundamental principle that we now start to look for now in puzzles. I'll be back in a second to actually show you a puzzle where it works. So here is a puzzle. It's a really easy puzzle, but I've picked an easy one to demonstrate what I want to show you. Okay, first of all, let me point out three numbers. In this three blocks here, we have a very interesting situation. We have a 3, 4, 8, a 3, 4, 8. Therefore, the 3, 4, 8 has to go in there. There's no other place for those 3, 4, and an 8 to go. They won't necessarily be in a particular order, but they go in there. Let's see what they could be. The 3, 4, 8 is missing here. We could work out what is here. We've got an 8, so it would be a 3, 4. Here we've got a 4. So it would be 3, 8. And here we've got a 4 again, so it would be a 3, 8. So we have a 3, 8 matching pair. And let's see what happens as we go down the road. So that's important. Now look, we have a 5, 1, 6 here, a top, 5, 6, 1, same numbers in the middle. Therefore, we know that this is going to be a 5, 1, 6 or 5, 6, 1. Well, I can tell you right now, there's a 1, so that'll have to be the 6. And that'll have to be the one, just like that. Now let's look at some other things. Let's take, for example, this here. Here's a 6, 7. Here's a 6, 7. Therefore, top, middle, the 6, 7 have to go in here. So it's a 6, 7, 6, 7. But when we look up, we see that there's a 7 there. So that becomes a 6 and that becomes your 7. And so the pattern top, middle, bottom, still applies, but now we're using two numbers. Very quickly did we work out these numbers. Let's say uh, we we'll, uh, look for a four, uh, that's, they're all on the horizontal. Let's do a, 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 a columns. Here's a four, two. Here's a four, two in the middle or the center, the center. Here's a four, two on the left. Therefore, a four, two has to be in here. Now, if you look, 
along there. Look, there's a four here, so that may changes the story very quickly. So you immediately have got two numbers just because you looked, you saw that pattern. Two of them. And this becomes a two and a four. So there's lots of different examples. Let's take a, an interesting one here. Here's a six three. Here's a six three. You've got a center, we've got a right, therefore the 6-3 has to be over here. We've got the 6 already, so that immediately tells you there has to be a little 3 there and a little 3 there in this block. Now you can check out this out by looking at this, is a 3, 3, 3. That fits the, uh, the center, left and right principle. Oh, there's all kinds of other things too. Uh, just for interest, I can see here uh, 8, 8, the 8 has to be down in here, but it can't be there, so this will have to be an 8. And what does that do to up here? Well, that, watch this carefully. That, this 8 gets taken out, so you're left with a 3. If we, when you take the 3 out, you've got a 4 here and an 8 there. See how quickly that helped? Bang, bang, bang. So there's all kinds of examples of where you can have just two numbers or three numbers using the principle of top, middle, bottom and LCR. That's it for today. Bye for now.